Welcome back to yet another episode of, the, of our Baldur's Gate Evil Necromancer series. Last time we did the unthinkable and we basically mangled uh, a gnoll or told her to mangle herself and to heat herself because she was so hungry. But that's just how far the illithid power can go and it's only gonna get crazier going forward I feel. Um, this run is offic officially very, very evil, um, but we're gonna try to make it even more so. So, once again, uh, if you're new to the series, if you just clicked on this video, uh, it is quite a lengthy series, the game is very long, so I'm making these kind of long videos, um, about like an hour to two hours, just to fit as much content as I can in each and every one of them. Uh, and that way we can share our experience about the game. Uh, there's a whole playlist in the description below if you'd like to start fresh. Uh, but without further ado, let's get back into this very session. So, last time we found this camp right here. Uh, the Gnoll were chilling outside, they were trying to get in. Uh, sadly, um, sadly... The gnoll attacked us, we used the psionic power to kind of tell them to kill themselves instead. It was kind of gruesome, however, uh, pretty fun at the same time. Uh, the, the main gnoll had a flay that was magical in some way, like a flay of paralysis, I believe. Uh, I don't remember what I did with it. Uh, I can look, it's probably in my inventory right now. Um, if I have it, uh, or maybe it w just wasn't something we could pick up. Nope, there it is. Shattered Flail. Um, so we're, we can read through that uh, together. So basically, I I'm just going to choose Lazel because she's going to have the, the right scaling to kind of look at what this does, right? So Lazel has the Ever Burning Blade right now, but there is the Shattered Flail. So hitting an enemy with this weapon heals the wielder for 1d6 hit points. That's really good uh, in general. Uh, but they can go mad if they don't continue hitting an enemy each turn. Uh, this is a plus 2 weapon. So it has a plus 2 chance to hit. Um, and what does mad signifies? Signifies hosti hostile to everyone in the vicinity. And I don't know how long this lasts. Um, is it better than the Ever Burning Blade? That's something I, I could look at. Or alternatively, we can give it to Shadowheart. However, uh, like it does a lot more damage than her. Um, <laughs> it does a lot more damage than her little weapon right now. The problem is she's going to be casting spell fairly often. I don't think that's the best idea. So I think we can try out something like this and then we can like try to give Lazel a shield because we know for a fact she's going to hit enemies literally every round. Um, so I think that's the way we're going to do it and obviously we have the ever burning blade. So we're we're trend, we're kind of trading in um, a bunch of fire damage. You can see here, it it's like 2d6 plus 4, uh, plus 1d4 fire damage. So 7 to 20, to, to, to 1d6 plus 6. Uh, it is quite a drop in damage, I'm gonna be honest. But the weapon enchantment of the plus 2 to hit guarantees us a hit. Now that I think about it though, I don't think it's that worth it. I think if, if she gets very low and we want to make sure she heals, we're going to trade it in. So I'm going to keep it in her, in her inventory. Um, but yeah, the description of the item, by the way, goes a bundle of, of bones and blood, a soul piercing demonic presence is all that remains of the Flint's flail. It would make a decent mace with a particularly nasty bite. But yeah, uh, what is this? Is This is a light finesse weapon, so we can give it to Asterion. Uh, which one's better? They're both... So this one is 1d6 and the other one is uh, 1d4 plus 5. So, but if we switch them, obviously 
uh, this one is gonna be 1d6 plus 4 and 1d4 plus 1 so 1d4 plus 5 or 1d6 plus 4 I feel 1d6 plus 4 is better um, so this is kind of like a scimitar I guess so we get, we're gonna have the scimitar and the dagger on the other hand oh he's not proficient that's the problem. All right, well, never mind that then. <laughs> so instead, you can take the scimitar. Are you proficient? No, you're not. Awesome. Uh, and can you like wield both of these? No. No? All right. So I guess the scimitar is just not gonna exist. Um. Sadly, where did the axe go? The axe went here. Um, nimble attack. When the wielder hits an enemy with his weapon, gain momentum for two turns. Okay, whatever. We'll figure. We'll. I'll do some inventory management a little bit later. For the time being, though, um, these guys were guarding this chest. Now we found the letter, and the letter earlier said that people um that this box if we open it people would die all around it so what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna take my main character and i'm gonna speak with the dead on Ruggen. but first do i have this guy self prepped i do not so i'm gonna i am gonna remove a spell and i'm gonna disguise self i'm gonna be what are they? Are they human or elves? They're human. Alright. I'm gonna be a human if I can find it. Drow, elf, half elf, dwarf, gitianki, um, fam human. And you guys can just move out a little bit just so he doesn't see me that's a trick i really wanted to try uh for a long time and then i'm gonna cast speak with the dead i'm gonna quick save first just to be sure f5 f8 the corpse regards you lifelessly where were you heading to And how do I find this hideout? Beneath tavern. Need password. <laughs> What's the password? Little serpents. Long shadow. What happened here? Inside the cargo. Wizard shipments. Secrets. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Alright, well, I think we found what we needed. Oh, this is on a long rest. All right. On my way. Well, let's move. Oh, never mind. Whoa. Let's get you, on guys the sorry, you guys move again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You guys move again. What to do? Where's the recast option? You can recast Speak with the Dead without expending a spell slot. There it is. I'm just gonna get the story straight, you know? I'm gonna ask everybody, I guess. The corpse regards you lifelessly. 
What were you transporting? Just locked. Dangerous. Where were you heading? Hide out. Beneath. Walking? Walking's rest. What happened to you? Ambush. No. Who are you? Holly. Xandrum agent. Goodbye. All right. So. Never a dull moment. If not over, then so we know the chest that's right there is very dangerous. I'm gonna still try to find a few things, right? Just another crate. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to find a few things, see if they have a key or anything like that. I truly run I truly wonder if there's a um Actually I'm gonna look at that right now. Is there a hot key to sand the camp? Short rest doesn't have a hotkey, that's fine. Alchemy is H. Illicit power is B. Inspiration is P. Take all is space. But there is no sent to camp option already in the game. Would be neat if we could, like, make it happen, but that's okay as well. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Poison mine. And that's what you call. That that's what you call. Smart problem solving. All right. Um, it's not that I don't trust us. It's just that. Oh wait, you can blessing of the, of the trickster, right? And guidance. And blessing of the trickster. And then you can move forward. And luck pick this thing. Easy. So bonus plus nine is a ten. So technically, unless we roll a one, we're fine. Eighteen, easy peasy. Reasons grasp, ever vigilant. When their wearer chooses to end to end their rage, they gain 15 temporary hit points. Oh. Well, that's a cool item to sell, for sure. Can't give up now. That's a nice a nice item to sell. That is for sure. What was over there? Nothing, right? And then like over here we can jump and we can move this way. Um, oh, okay, I guess that would have been the way to, to kind of go, but that's fine. I'm glad we went the way we did. All right, so we know for a fact that this chest is uh, <laughs> is very dangerous. So we're going to do the same, essentially. We're going to cast Guidance. You need some support. Oh, what? Blessing of the Trickster? What? 
It's guidance. Oh, guidance is concentration as well. No. What am I doing? So, blessing of the trickster. Uh, grants another ad creature advantage on stealth check. However, guidance is one d four on everything. So obviously the best the best thing to do is this and then we'll move away and then Astarian I'm sorry Trust I'm sorry buddy Astarian but you're gonna have to open this thing open. so plus four from dexterity plus one from happy guidance sleight of hand and sleight of hand expertise let's see Let's go! Critical success! Alright, I'm gonna send that to myself for sure. Um, sent the swarm, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little bit of clearing, I think. Still alive, so that's progress. So by weight, I guess what's the what's the most weight? Did this? Do we need this? A humanoid brain, alive and in a perfect condition, suspended in cer cerebral fluid. I don't think I need these. Alchemist Fire. I'm gonna send them to Astarian. Uh, Alchemy Pouch. That's fair. That's really good as well. Then the rest is just like fairly light stuff, right? We don't have any like big equipment that we need, so I think I'm good. Keychain. I like that we have the the keychain. That's really nice. Um, where was the harp? I know we have a harp. Yeah, okay, the harp is right here. Awesome. All right, awesome. Uh, we do have a bunch of gold, so I might just learn a few spells. We're gonna learn mirror image. We're gonna learn the acid arrow. We're gonna learn the old person. Do we already we already have crown of madness we're gonna learn shocking grass um blade of dagger i really don't like all that much um magic weapon either we can learn oh we already know featherfall awesome perfect nice and we got uh obviously we got the glowing flask which the iron flask um a flask that can hold friends and foes likely to make the former the later so if you put people in there inspect decorated with a grinning face this cold iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper arcana i guess with guidance don't forget the guidance among the decorative elements you notice a familiar arcane engraving this is a powerful magical item capable of trapping and holding a creature the sealed stopper suggests it is inhabited Flask is cold and heavy in your hand. Okay, look, 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 look. I don't think this is a good idea, right? But we're all thinking it. We're all thinking it. Do I think this is a smart thing to do? No. I'm gonna reload. I'm telling you guys right now, I would wait for hand. later to do it. But removing the stopper is something that is very tempting. The flask shudders in your hand, then magical energy emanates from its neck as a creature emerges.
Like, is it me or is it that not that bad of a thing? Sixty-five. Fifty-five. Sixty-five. Infinity. Have to keep going. It cannot be tripped, and I already. Oh, brother! It cannot be tripped, and I already know that. But I kind of wanted the damage to be there. However, I'm just gonna do this instead. Really? I used two superiority dice for that. So I used all that I could right now. So I'm just going to attack. Throw is an action. I kind of forget, I guess. Um. I really needed you to not miss that one, brother. My injuries need tending. Careful, I bind. All right. Well, it wasn't that bad, honestly. Watch the shadows. Someone there. But I will rest after that, <laughs> for sure. And these things have stayed in. However, <laughs> let's see what the spectator had on, had in him. Nothing. Awesome. And if I inspect the flask once again. Like, how do I use the iron flask is what I'm thinking about, you know? A mysterious flask that was holding a, cre a dangerous creature inside, it is now empty.
So I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to trap creatures in the flask, right? Would that be a fair assumption to make? Well, let's hope. For now, I think we're gonna go rest. And then we're gonna go see everything about the night song. Need to find a way forward. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. All right. Wait, the Wizard of Waterdeep, there was an update here. What? Oh, he needs the, ma the magical item. Alright, wait, I'll, I'll just go through all of these. So, Gale needs the magical item, I'm gonna talk to him. Githyanki patrolling these wilds is an unexpected surprise. Whatever they seek, they'll not hesitate to kill us if we stand in their way. True. What do you what do you make of having a vampire in our camp? We all have our burdens. One way or the other. Fair. Um, I was wondering that condition of yours, why does it work our magic? Think of it as tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Fair. Um... I think I have a magical artifact you might be interested that in. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? So, do we have like a stash? Oh, it's on it's on our person. All right. So, um I mean, I'm keeping all of these for sure. I guess you can take Reason's Grasp. Most likely not gonna be great. Thank you. Reason's Grasp was for Barbarian. We're not having any Barbarian in our party. At least not right now. And even if we do, there's gonna be something better for them. Uh, so, it's yeah. A strange experience. Each time anew, I can't. Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But this doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. Okay. What's happening? <laughs> Please tell me we didn't just waste a piece of magical equipment. Ever the pragmatist in chief, aren't you? <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire and merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think thank you for the artifact a great deal of trouble it was too a great deal of trouble indeed all right so what's the effect on this quest uh we gave gail another magical artifact but this time the weave inside wasn't quite as effective at stabilizing his condition he seems only mildly 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 concerned about that for now we shouldn't uh, we should keep looking for any suitable item for the next time he calls on us um, all right the pale elf uh, we told Astarian that he couldn't feed on innocent but enemies were fair game indeed um, who's closest to us that's oh Astarian. oh there's Azel as well I'm gonna talk to us if you're looking for that artifact 
then we may have something valuable on our hands. Indeed. And it's a powerful weapon to boot. Things are starting to look very interesting. What do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise Tower? Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. <laughs> but maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. What do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Casador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. Oh, so they don't control it's him right grim now. Either way, so why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. I don't know. I don't know who this Casador fellow is, but yeah. You're training a master for another, you'll be a slave either way. You're familiar with the phrase, better the devil you know. I know, Cazador. And I'll take anything that saves me from that. Tell me about yourself? Wants to tell. I was sired by a vampire named Cazador. Everything before that is so long ago, it's ancient history. And everything that came after, well, um... I'd rather not reflect on it. Fair. Alright, um... How were you turned, I guess? I was attacked. A gang of vagrants, a tribe of wandering Gur, took issue with a ruling I'd made. They beat me to death's door when Cazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity would be. Indeed. All right, you must remember life before that. I was a magistrate working to keep the peace in Baldur's Gate, imprisoning troublemakers, that kind of thing. I can't remember much, truth be told. Centuries of torment will do that to you. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. That's fair, brother. Uh, tell me about your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now... I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. I think his story is going to be pretty simple. Uh, we're going to go back to Baldur's Gate. We're going to find the vampire family. And yeah, uh, we learned that Asaren was a slave to the Tsar family. He couldn't refuse orders from them and believe that he might that uh, and believes that might still be the case. Uh, we learned that Astarin was murdered by a girl nomad long ago. The vampire lord Kazador came to his aid. Blah blah blah. The Githyanki warrior, the Githyanki called Githrak Voss, revealed that a, a Githyanki crash was nestled in the mountains beyond the western bridge. We should travel there with Lazel. Do you have anything to say to that? Probably. Speak. Have you, have you thought about making use of the tadpole's power? Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. All right. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. If we must bear the, ta the tadpole's burden, we should also avail ourselves of their power. I could friend, but I'm not going to. Yeah, there's no way. And when the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. 
I will be remade in its image. My faith in Vlakith will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. Fair. Do you know what will happen if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Fun. That sounds awful. How are you so calm? Because I do not intend to let this happen. Not to me, and if you stick with me, not to you. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we, you're worried we haven't changed? This is good news, no? Yes. If you give it no further thought, but anomalies lead to surprises, bad yeah. surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. All right, awesome. And then we have Shadowheart, daughter of darkness. We spoke to Shadowheart about the pain that her mysterious wound inflicted on her. She believes it may be part of her training, punishing uh, punishing her whenever she strays from Shar's teaching. It seems the Githyanki are keen to reclaim the artifact I carry. I can't afford that to happen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. Um, let's not find out we have enough to contend with already. Agreed. There's not much we can do but press forward. Um, these illithid powers were developing. What do you make of them? On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. The odds are stacked against us. We can tr can we truly afford to ignore the potential advantage? Or some might say excessive caution is a risk in and of itself. I guess persuasion, brother. I'm not gonna friend her. Uh, this one I'm gonna roll again, I think. Do I... Do I? I had an average roll, I had a 10. I see it as more a case of wisely avoiding a potential threat. My mind is set. All right, cool. How's everybody, uh, how's everybody feeling, by the way? She likes me, he doesn't care, she likes me. All right. Is that blood? No, never mind. So there's Withers and there's Volo. We're just gonna rest. We're just gonna rest. Auto select, 40, let's go. Oh, another dream? Another dream it is. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now, I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. 
but things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Netty might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Fair. Um... Tell me who you are. It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer. Just like you. Just like you. I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you. I seek to be free of it. But to do that, we'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I believe that. That's believable. Um, how do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic then? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. How is that you protect me? Or why are you protecting me? Or why should I believe you? <laughs> so many good questions. Okay, how is it that you're protecting me? I have powers of my own. Unique powers. But know that we are alike. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. No, I had so many questions. Um, na -na 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 -na. What's going on over there? The power I use to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. <sighs> ah. All right. So I know I had this one going for for a little while, and I'm I was kind of just like wondering. Um, So, your target have disadvantage. It's an action. Have disadvantage on attack rolls and make... And take, a, like, 2d6 damage each time they miss. That's good. It's an action, but it's good. I think it's worth it. But I don't think any of the other is very much worth it. So I'll wait for the rest of the of the spells for now. Um, and I have straight strike right there. And this is Psychic Overload. This is the um, 
Available only in combat. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let us leave camp and go get the night the night song. True. That happened. Don't waste the step. So where, so find the Gitanki crash and everything like that. So the night song is gonna be here. So we can go to the goblin camp. I also know there's the the swamp. I'm probably gonna do the swamp afterwards. Um, I'm just unsure. Are are the goblins still here? By the way, no, right? I'm assuming they left. But who knows? Maybe they did it. Wait, why is it that? Why, why does it tell me I'm not at the right place? Isn't this a temple? <laughs> I'm confused a little bit. Also, Always remember to use mage armor. Okay, so it says it's up. So it says it's right there. All right, where do I end up there? This side? What are the screams? They were like insane screams, but all right. I guess I just won't think about it too much. <laughs> and now it's down. Like, what's over there? Is there anything? Not really, right? Just a bunch of, uh, of books. Yeah. All right, so really there isn't much going on. Investigate a temple. I guess I just have to get in. I guess the, the marker isn't exactly where it needs to be. Um, while they're walking, I'm just gonna look for it. So... <clears throat> night song. Find a night song. Uh, rescue the Grand Duke. Find a night song. All right. One of the adventures. Uh, one of the adventurers, a dwarf, Brian, has a map leading to the night song. However, he was killed by the goblins at the temple. So, like, it would be great to look for Brian. However, I, I, I have no clue where the hell Brian is. I'm gonna be completely honest. So, instead, I'm just gonna walk. Because now the temple's empty. We don't really, like, care. Did this guy end up ended up dying? Oh, he he's not there anymore. All right. I mean, no one's here. It's just completely and utterly empty. Just fine. Smithin. 
So it was a dwarf I was... Uh, it's a dwarf I'm looking for. I'm looking for a dwarf. That was killed. In the temple. Nah, nothing here, most likely. A dead mind flare. Ooh. Ooh, scroll of speak with the dead. Always useful, even though I have the, the necklace. Whoa! I'm ready. Whatever it takes. What now? On my way. How oh, for a skeleton key? A twenty. Ah. <clears throat> a eight got it. A eight got it. Infernal iron. All right. Amulet of Saloon's Chosen. Saloon's Dream. Evocation Cantrip. What? An ally you touch regain hit point but possibly falls asleep. Okay, that is wild. Um, I mean, that's a good item to give to Gale or to sell. Uh, underdog's Glove of the Glowing... Un of the Growling Underdog. Underdog's Bravery. The wearer gains advantage on melee attack roll while surrounded by two or more foes seems like a lazel kind of thing spring step boots swift stride when the wearer dashes or take a similar action during combat they gain momentum for three turns um, that's an ex that, that's an astarian thing and then they're empty yeah. Alright. That was good loot, good loot. Well, not the best loot, but it was alright. Still breathing. Despite everything. Swift as my feet can carry me. I think... I don't think there was anything left for me here. Oh, th th there was this side here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there. And is there still this crying eye here? I'm assuming it was following the goblins and Minthara to make sure, like, they weren't messing around too much, but could be wrong. Ooh, scroll of blur. The water sparker. The water sparkers? Electrify water. When the worst stands in water during combat, it becomes electrify. If the wearer starts their turn on an electrified surface, they gain three lightning charges. I mean, it's novel, but I'm assuming you're gonna take damage if you do it as well, right? So this is where, um, if I remember correctly, Alson was um, a little while ago. 
in the early access, right? I don't know if he's still there. I guess he broke out. Yeah. I guess he broke out. Someone escaped. One of the adventurers? Whoever did it left quite some claw marks. Maybe the missing druid? He must have returned to the grove. So, like, we know it's Alsin that escaped from here, if I remember correctly. What? Okay, we've used the prison the prison key. Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. Seems the tunnel collapsed mid dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. I mean, we're gonna pull the body free. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. I don't need escaping. I'm gonna be super honest with you. Dead elf. Alright, well that wasn't it. So let's go to Gut's quarters. Cause I know I know Gut has some quarters and we didn't go there already. If I remember correctly, maybe that's where we need to go from the early access days. But they might have changed a few things, obviously. these guys doing that's curious a rocky Not crevasse a chance I'll fit in there um all right so the rocky crevasse is calling for me to create a rat no? Alright, what now? Can I can I do I have the option Not to send a rat? No? Alright, well, never mind then. I tried. Does it use it every time? Thieves tool enables you to open locks based on sleight of hand, ch hand check. Tools break on unsuccessful attempt. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Oh my god, he's so good. He's so good. Bunch of gold. No one's stopping yet. Time to press ahead. Huh, I'll give it a shot. Alright, let's do the same. Keep a blade close. Step lightly. A long way to go still. Let us do the same. She's gonna guidance you. This'll help. And then Simple. you will lockpick. What is my job? You lockpick. What is my job, sir? You're just a lockpick. He, he does damage. He does damage. I shouldn't sell him too short. Oh, I just no, no. That's true. I, I learned it from the from a scroll, so that's fine. Hmm. What's that? Don't mind if I do. A misty step necklace, you say? I mean, I, I already know misty step, so I'm not gonna use it, but... Oh. What the hell is this? So, we have moving plates and some symbols. Okay, so what I'm assuming I need to do something over there. Over here. What do you mean over there? What? Anyways. Oh, there's a lever. Alright, anyways. What I feel like I need to do Can't is very simple. Down. There's light uh, right there. I guess I need to put all of the the lights next to it one two three four so that would mean one two three four i'm quite unsure i'm gonna be honest with you i'm quite unsure
Wits and blades always sharp. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. I I know this is a novel strategy, but what if like you just lockpick this thing? I'll move back. Fifteen. I mean, it's worth the shot, right? Fifteen on a on a like eight. It works. Like that's already a win. Rolling a 10 and getting a 22, that's kind of insane. So we're going in the Underdark no matter what for the Night Song. I'm a little bit unsure about that. I want to be outside with the sun on my skin. You've only just come to tolerate sun and you're already nostalgic. If you're going to complain the whole by all means, return topside. You could use the color. All right, so there is a portal right here. But I'm still very much curious, like... So, wait. So we have Walking's Rest. So, we can do the chest. So I'm gonna give up the Night Song for a minute. The Tavern Underneath Walking's Rest. The tavern underneath Walking's Rest. The tavern underneath Walking's Rest. Where the hell is the tavern then? I mean, Walking's Rest is very destroyed. I ain't gonna lie. Is there anything underneath? inside nothing here like this looks like it, right? Someone's moving around in there. You spot a man crouching between the shelves. Just as he spots you. What do you think you're doing, brother? Bugger. Recite Ryan's passphrase, Little Serpent, Long Shadow. Oh, Helm's orbs. I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go then. They'll be on us soon. So if you're looking to trade, you'd best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Behind the wardrobe? Where's that? Oh, there? Toril. And 
whatever lies beyond the stars. Behind the wardrobe, he said? Said you could pass, didn't I? Yeah, you said I could pass. I'm just having a very hard time, like, finding out where that is. <laughs> where the hell is it? What? Am I stupid? Surely it's not here. The hatch. Oh my god. I'll use the map next time. I'll just use the map. I'm not even... I'll just use the map. So maybe it wasn't the best idea to open the flask, right? But I guess we, I can tell them like, oh, it was was already empty. Hidden stairs, that's gold. Alright, the Xantharim hideout. Bro, there's so much more to this game than I thought. Holy. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly, and maybe we'll kill you clean. Bro, what what do you mean? Uh slip back into the shadows! I know the passphrase, Little Serpent Long Shadow. That just tells me you know our codes, not why you're here. I won't ask again. I don't want trouble, I just want to trade. Trade with what? Your life was ours the moment you walked in here, but maybe I'll let you buy it back. I have a job needs doing. We've disarmed the traps, come down. They, they did say they just disarmed the trap, so I don't really care. I hope you weren't followed. Just as I expected. Brem. Well, don't you cut a fine figure? Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroic likeness. No thanks, I just want to trade. Fancy that? So do I. What do you have? Draw, draw poison? I guess I'll take like a few thief stools. Can never have too many of these. 300? You're insane, my friend. You're, you are insane. How many are you willing to pay me for them? Like, uh, 11? I'll just give away, like, the easy stuff, right? That's just, like, sitting around in my stuff. Uh, simple toxin, basic poison, I guess you're gonna like that one.
I guess I don't need those. Um, and yeah, that's about what I'm willing to give right now, I suppose. Can't show you the good stuff till Zaris gives the say so mind. Friends of the Zen only. I was no going to crack heads. Free me now. You seem a nice soul. I'm glad we didn't have to kill you. All right. Not many can talk their way into a Zenterim outpost. I could use someone with your skills. Interested in a job? Um... That depends, what is it? Some of our people are missing. More importantly, so is their cargo. Find them. Keep them alive if you can. Failing that, just bring that shipment back. Unopened. What's so important about this cargo? I'm offering hard coin, not idle answers. All you need to know is that I'm willing to pay a hideous sum to get it back. Unopened. Sound shady, I'd rather not get involved. <laughs> it's gold I'm offering, not a marriage bond. Spend your coin and be on your way. But be quick about it. We're blowing this place soon. I'll leave them for the fist. And in no state to tell tales. Are we unpacking? I thought we was packing. Yo, this place is huge. Like if nothing to see here. Move along. Okay. I had a peach of a shot on you as you came in. I hate wolves. I didn't realize you were fighting with wolves, Shadowheart. Yeah, Shadowheart is afraid of wolves. Everyone's trying to do something. Alright, they're just like blowing the whole place up. Insane. Um. But yeah, so I opened the package. Maybe I shouldn't have, but honestly, it was fun enough to do it. I, I just needed to know, right? What? What? Whoops. A star and come back? I don't want to use a scroll. I wasn't even looking. He probably stepped on a mine, the dumbass. <laughs> he probably stepped on a mine. Yeah, I didn't mean... Uh... I, I didn't mean for him to die. I, I was genuinely not looking. Genuinely. Oh. How much farther can I go? Okay, wait. I'm gonna try to tell her I have it open. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer. That just tells me you know our codes, not why you're here. I won't ask again. But we've disarmed the tr cursed. Take heed. Hope you weren't following me. 
Yo, my guy's perception is so bad. We're quick saving. I'm not gonna tell her I have the flask the flask open Not many can talk their way into a center amount. I could use someone with your skills Interested in a job some of our fine All right, I already found them they're dead God damn it what about the shipment? You... opened the shipment. You've killed me. You've bloody killed us all. Damned if I won't return the favor. Lads, kill him! Kind of unfortunate. Like, I guess I'll try to kill them, but... A crit! Little rat! I think they messed up with annoying me, but hey, we'll see. Still, so I'm gonna trip you up. <laughs> Critical miss, that's no fun. Stand in my way. 
critical miss. What does infected do? Infected has disadvantage on constitution saving throws and constitution is reduced by one. That's fair. Time to strike. On the move. On the move. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna loot their... <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna loot their hideout. Diluted oil of sharpness. Coat your weapon in oil. It, gain, it gains plus one to bonus... Uh, it gains plus one bonus to damage and attack rolls. Overcomers resistant to not magical damage. That's so good. How long does it... S does it... Stays? I guess it doesn't really matter. Arsonist oil. Like, did I make an enemy of the Zentarim? Sure! Oh, he's gonna be happy though. Wait, wait! I'm just a prisoner! Spare me and there'll be coin, I swear it! Coin? You have my attention. Oh, thank the gods. If it's wealth you seek, then you've done yourself a great service, friend. For you've rescued none other than the artist, Oscar Feverance. Excellent. When will I get re my reward? Fear not, friend. My patron will make good on all my debts. My betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, <laughs> whoops, falling out. I don't care about your love life, I just want my reward, bro. Ah, right. Suit yourself. Find me in the city and you shall have your reward. Say, you couldn't spare a little coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road, son. Nah, that's he's just a scam artist. Coins will just wear, weigh you down. Get moving. I suppose I can endure the walk sober. Suffering has become an old friend, after all. Oh, this guy, I Until swear. Until gate, then. I mean, I'm assuming they have like a bunch of gold somewhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna scout the hideout. I'm gonna make sure, like, gonna get. A bunch of gold as much as I can hopefully I already have a good amount on my person right now but you know it's never uh, it's never too too much too much it's never too much gold in my pockets for sure I can't believe these guys really wanted to fight with me that's insane can't afford to stay idle 
All right, Shadow Heart, you're gonna be first because you have a good wisdom, perception, and I trust in you to see the traps. I'm just gonna quick save beforehand, just in case, right? This way. Huh. Wouldn't linger down here if I were you. See all that smoke powder? The flaming fist won't find nothing here but rubble. All right. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, okay. not alone. Uh, everyone's got their own fear, I won't judge you. We can scarce we can scarcely afford to show weakness right now. I hope this won't be a problem. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. <laughs> I can't help but feel you and I might have a missed a chance to truly connect. It's okay. Maybe later. I had a peach of a shot on you as you came in. Eager for battle. What a day. Tread carefully. Something over there. Ah, close the gate. Perhaps. How considerate. Asteron is doing God's work right now. Awesome. Is there any cool other things? Not really. I guess it's just these two chests. The disarming is easy. A three e even works for us, right? That's not the problem. We have like plus nine. It's a luck picking, I just want to make sure we don't miss. We still have plus 9, but it's a 15. 15 is much harder to get to. 7 is good, right? Um, perfect. Let's see what's behind chest number 2.
I don't want gold to weigh you down too much. Nothing to see over here. Nothing to see over here. Worst case scenario, I can al I could always put this guy to sleep. Alright, that's something I can do with this guy. Can just put everybody to sleep. Um, I don't think that's necessary though. Not right now. Not right now. But this guy is gonna have to move at some point. Careful. That's where I'll strike. Watch your back. Let's go. Let's go. He's leaving, and the wolf is gonna run with him, right? And the wolf is gonna run with him. Awesome. gold ring gold a brass locket abyss beckoners demon spirit aura the wearer summoned creature has resistance to all damage except psychic damage at the start of the summoned creature's turn it must succeed a wisdom saving throw or be driven mad wow demons will bite their master slaves comrade and on occasion themselves they bite on principle and are functionally piranhas with extra steps. That is a goddamn snazzy pair of bracers. And I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen with them. Alright, and I'm just gonna wait for it for him to leave. And then once he leaves, I'm gonna be able to Did he leave? He left, let's go. This way. Nothing to see here. Just and you know, chilling chilling with you, honestly. Woo! Alright, we pillaged their stuff. That's pretty good. We'll go back from like by the the down place because Starin just died last time. <laughs> I don't want that happening. You see how insane he is. So did we anger one of the fiercest trading syndicate there is? Yeah. Yeah, we did. I mean, there's no one to, to tell it was us, thankfully. I'm gonna look in a few of their, of their crates, right? The ones marked. Because maybe there's something, but I doubt there is. Yeah. Crates are empty, they're packing up, they're leaving. 
push out a bag of holding. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't know if there's more gold to be had right here, is the thing. That's fine. The Xantarim note. I'm guessing this is like the lever for the traps, right? Um, the explosives are, are more volatile than a Dragonborn's belch. And they cost more than most of your work. So stop messing with them. It took me half the day to attach the mines to the ceiling. And somebody took down one and lobbed it down the elevator shaft. If you're going to waste resources, Zaris would remind you that you are resources and she's not above throwing you down the shaft. And do you really want to risk attracting the attention of whatever might be at the bottom of that shaft? We're professional. Act like it or I'll break your fingers. The shaft. There's something at the bottom of the shaft. Now this is interesting. The elevator shaft? Where might that be? Camera's gonna be a little bit wonky for a minute. Where's the elevator? What? Am I just missing something? I guess I am. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to look for the elevator shaft. If we can't find it, we can find it, and it is what it is. But that's funny. Oh, my god. So here's to hoping they don't blow up in my face. All right, I guess I'll just, you know, leave. <laughs> the most important part is that we kept the um, the thing. What what if I talk to you? What happens if I talk to you? I said you could pass, didn't I? All right, nothing. And like, what's in here? The ox tenses, horns lowered in your direction. All right, sorry little Lord Ox, you don't give me much of a choice. I'm sorry, you didn't deserve to die, but also don't attack me or my son ever again. Alright.
So the goblin camp. Was there an update to the um, Daughter of Darkness? Shadow Heart opened up about her fear of wolves. Um, was there for the artist Oscar left for Baldur's Gate? Who knows? Maybe we'll see him there. Yeah. Um, discover the artifact secret. Was there. Find the night song. We solved the puzzle in the Goblin Camp, revealing a secret passage that leads underground. So I guess the night song is in the underworld. Huh. That's interesting. Um. So yeah. We could do the, uh, we might as well do the... Um. We could just do the, um, the unlock the ancient tome right now. I think it would be a nice, uh, a nice time. So we'll do that. Um, and then we'll call it a day, I think. And then we'll be able to move on to the mountain pass next time. Or there is still going to be the hag. So we could do hag and then go into the mountain pass next time. So. book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You've seen similar books in wizards' libraries, a tome on Thayan magic, a rare and expensive find. People have gone mad reading less dangerous texts. Put the amethyst in the slot on the book. Give the book to Astarian! No, we're gonna open the book. Astarian disapproves. pull is irresistible. Uh. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly, you are capable of anything. Filling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. I feel like conversing with the dead Please is... Shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips. Forming words you don't understand, and something is trying to reply. Turn to the next page, but be wary of arcing tricks. So, concentration, and so both of these are concentration. So I'm just gonna cast, so 1d4 and 1d4, right? So resistance is just gonna be better. Woo! The symbols move aggressively, probing your mental defenses. But you hold strong. For now. For now. For now, saving troll turn. Another page. This is a level 2 spell, though. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Could have made a big difference, honestly, so it's worth it. The world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs, only hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. Urge your hand down another page. So you already have concentration, right? 
because this is concentration. And it's 1d4 anyway. So good luck to me. We have rerolls. Does that do it? I think that does it. Yeah! The glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. You struggle to cling to scraps of what you know. Powerful necromancy, you're sure. But it darts away, leaving only hell's screams. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you, you should never have known. So what... what happened, right? Um... Alright. The book... Books like these contain manifold secrets though they've been known to drive people mad. We found a strange and powerful tome, the Necromancy of Thay. What should we do with it? All right, nothing else here, I guess. Uh, so I have now Speak with the Dead, always prepared on long rest, and I do have the Speak with the Dead necklace. So I don't really need it anymore. So I'm going to unequip it. Then I'm going to try to look which necklace would be good for me. Uh, I guess Misty Step. This way. I don't need to have it prepared. And I can prepare something else instead. I don't need to have you prepared either anymore. Um, so I can prepare something else instead. I guess... Sleep is always a good one. Mirror image is really good. And we're getting to the point where shield is gonna be very strong. So, yeah, why not? Alright. As simple as that. So, the night song is in the underworld. Um, but let's just recap the quest and then we'll call it a day. Um, and then next time we'll go into the, the swamp. Deal with that. Um, and yeah, so all of these are, are the, companion, the companion quests. So we can do that. The completed quests we've already done. We don't need to look anything else. Barry mentioned a dowry for him and his wife. It's worth searching for it so i'm assuming this is like in the house maybe as the house kind of like chilled i don't even know what a dowry is Nothing called a dowry here, though. That's for sure. Maybe upstairs? I am ready. Also, um, I don't know. Like, do we need to keep concentrating on this? I don't know how to stop it. Which is a bad part, well, but it is. not as bad as it could have. I have to keep going. So maybe the dowry wasn't there.
eyewitness account. Uh, I'm not gonna read all of that. I'm just looking for the diary. Or was it in Baldur's Gate, maybe? Yo, Beryl, Baron, what the hell was a diary? Miri! No! Gods, no, no, no! You should have stayed. You should have been with me. How did you how did you two get separated? I was in our room. We had a fight. If I just kept my mouth shut about that bloody dowry, she'd still What is a dowry? I'll look it up because I'm very confused. Dar dowry. Oh, it's just like a, a property worth a bunch of money for. Yeah, what was that about a dar a dowry? For a sister's wedding. I made a stupid joke about keeping it. We argued about it for hours. Then she took the dowry and left. She said I'd never see her again. She was right. This is only there's no you could I'm know. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm so sorry. Please, just go. I need a moment with her. Oh, she's here. Oh, she's... Well, you did say she had money. And you are pretty weak. Keep your distance, down. What's next? On I go. Wait. What in the world? Is, where in the world is the money? Rescue the trapped man. Quest completed. Okay. I have no clue where the dowry is. It, do, do I get do I get it if I look at this right here? Ah, all right, Shepherd, you should be helping. Alright, it's, it's not, it's not telling us what I need to know. Alright, well. I'll, I'll, I'll stop right here. I might look it up because I'm very confused. Um, but yeah. This has been a productive session. We did a bunch of things. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.